you can put a wet towel on a Tesla supercharger handle to get faster charging speeds. Keep it putting a damp cloth over the charging handle. Convince the V2 supercharger to up the rate from 60 kilowatts to 95 kilowatt during a hot day. And, and used to go out and give the, the safety talk to kindergartners and preschoolers. And this was one of the bullet points. Don't unplug things if, if your hands are wet. Just seems pretty counter to all of that. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm in studio today with grid engineer Mike Herzog. How's it going, Mike? Doing great, David. Glad to be here. Oh, Mike, we got some fun stuff to talk about today. This one's really quite on the humorous channel. It's about how you can charge faster in a Tesla supercharger. This one is kind of cringy. It's really kind of out there. But you can put a wet towel on a Tesla supercharger handle to get faster charging speeds. It literally shows somebody with this Cybertruck with a cloth on the handle pouring water on the damn thing. Now, I'm curious how you unplug when you're done. I mean, I just, this just seems crazy. I'm really curious how somebody figured this out too. I, yeah, I wonder if that's covered under the warranty. <laughs> what were you doing while I poured water on the charger? Because <laughs> the internet told me to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, how, how did they figure this out? It's well. I, I would say for for years, I worked at the utility and and used to go out and give the the safety talk to kindergartners and preschoolers. And this was one of the bullet points: don't unplug things if if your hands are wet, if your hair is wet, dry off. If it's wet, don't touch it. It just just seems pretty pretty counter to all of that. <laughs> hey, this is going to be the new news. So currently, everybody's always telling me how much. Your EVs are exploding and catching on fire, right? I mean, I see this all the time, that EVs are exploding. It is a top thing that people search for on YouTube is electric vehicles exploding, and they don't, okay? So people are really disappointed in that. But the next thing is somebody's going to get electrocuted. Oh, 100%. Well, I I, I shouldn't laugh. I mean, yes, somebody's going to get hurt doing that. You know, so my, my engineering brain goes to, what what's actually happening here? And I, I'm guessing it's just cooling. Um, that there's some some type of sensor involved in that handle, the wire, anything like that. You're you're basically you know have have a, a switch there where if it gets hot, throttle the amount of electrons going through. Then what this is in, I'm going to cool off the sensor so I can pump more electrons through and increase the heating. So outside of just pouring water on it, hopefully it's not. You know, it's not bypassing a safety sensor in there as well that say, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't charge it this fast. Um, you're going to have a problem. But I love the internet. That's, that's a great um, Everybody who knows EVs knows that extreme temperatures and high charging speeds don't mix well. Tesla owners discovered they can trick the system on hot, sunny days to get a little extra juice from a supercharger in a few minutes. Well, the wet towel trick has circulated in Tesla forums and other online communities for a few years now. But with summer coming in hot, that would be a good idea to make this little do-it-yourself solution more widely known. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. As its name suggests, it implies putting a wet piece of cloth over the charging cable on a, a hot day when the sun shines directly on the handle, making its temperature rise. Okay, well, you know, you could even just say, even if you didn't pour water on it, wrapping it up probably would keep it cooler just from not having direct sunlight. There and fan it with your hands. You can put a little, yeah, put a little umbrella on it. Yeah, <laughs> rub it, rub an ice cube on it. Yeah, <laughs> really, yeah, really, really get those extra amps out of it. <laughs> By putting a wet towel over the handle, it shielded from the sun's light can stay at a lower temperature, that thus facilitating a higher charging rate. One Tesla owner documented putting a damp cloth over the charging handle convinced the V2 supercharger to up the rate from 60 kilowatts to 95 kilowatt during a hot day. Wow, a more than 50% increase in charging speed. They plugged it in at a 2% state of charge, and the supercharger quickly ramped up to 147, then a thermal throttle to 58 when the state of charge reached 34%. Putting a wet rag at room temperature over the cable handle convinced the stall to ramp back up to 119. Those are big differences. It's big differences, but I still go back to it's your bypassing a safety feature. I'm trying. I'm trying to think of a good good analog to it, but it's um, it's like taking the governor off your golf cart. You know, it's there, it's there for a reason. You don't you don't want to go super fast. But oh, so in the newer version three stalls, this trick won't help at all on almost all of Tesla's EVs except the Cybertruck. The Angular pickup 
is the company's first passenger vehicle to feature an 800-volt battery setup. The others have a 400-volt. But all the supercharger stations are currently on in the United States aren't capable of dispensing at 800 volts. As a result, the electric pickup splits the battery pack into two 400-volt subunits, making the superchargers ramp up the electrical current rate to over 700 amps. This can make even the actively cooled V3 handle get hot, which is why the wet towel trick only works for Cybertruck owners who go to version 3 stalls to top up their batteries. And we don't see any pictures of anybody holding the handle. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, you know, I, I'm just looking for this. I'm waiting for that picture of somebody. Well, it's just fascinating. This doesn't seem like a, uh, <laughs> it just seems like something could go horribly wrong. I, I think we can call it for today. We're not, we're not going to do better than that. That's, that's a good, that's a good one. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.